Hello, I'm Hayden Ireland. And I'm Terry Lawson with es and &E. In this video, we'll go over key differences between unmanaged and managed switches. So Terry, why do we need to use a managed switch when an unmanaged switch will work just fine? Good question, Hayden. Unmanaged switches seem like a good idea, but there are several disadvantages. One of the most common occurrences we run across is when someone accidentally creates a loop on one or more unmanaged switches. So what exactly happens when we create a loop in the system? Once the loop is created, then the traffic volume in the loop grows and grows until it overwhelms all the switches' capacities in the loop's path. Loops can occur when someone accidentally physically loops an ethernet cable, to two ports on the same switch or loops multiple switches together. Broadcast messages get repeated in an infinite loop. Eventually, the network will crash as the broadcast storm grows, causing production lines to shut down, resulting in unplanned downtime. A managed switch with spanning tree would eliminate loops by automatically blocking one of the ports. If someone creates a loop or plugs into a port that shouldn't be connecting, could I tell where they're plugged into with an unmanaged switch? No, not with an unmanaged switch, but with a managed switch, it will tell you exactly what ports are involved in the loop. If you are using the device manager, which is nothing more than the managed switch's web page, you get diagnostics such as traffic monitoring, port statistics, and the ability to test cables directly from the managed switch. Well, Terry, what about security? It's becoming a big issue with OT networks. Does an unmanaged switch help at all with security? Nope, nada, zero. Absolutely no security at all with an unmanaged switch. Well, that couldn't be any clearer, but how are the security features with a managed switch? A managed switch has great security features. A popular one is the ability to enable and disable ports for physical port security directly from an HMI or the switch management interface. Terry, I run into this situation where there's a bunch of ethernet devices spread across multiple production lines. They're huge networks and they all have that famous 192.168.1 network. The biggest problem is that when they have a network issue, it affects the entire line, multiple lines, so they don't know where to begin troubleshooting. Also, it's almost impossible to add devices because they're out of IP addresses. They really need to think about breaking up their networks. It's called segmentation. When segmenting, VLANs are the way to go. Can you set up VLANs on an unmanaged switch? No, this is one of the best things about managed switches when you have large networks. You can segment by using VLANs, which enables you to break up larger networks into smaller networks. It decreases overall network traffic and helps localize network issues. Think of VLANs like separate neighborhoods in a city. Each neighborhood has its own houses, and people within a neighborhood can easily interact with each other, but if you want to visit another neighborhood, you'll need to use specific transportation to get from one neighborhood to the other. VLANs similarly create isolated networks that can communicate internally, but require special routers to connect with each other. Terry, this has been a great explanation of the difference between a managed and an unmanaged switch. Can you do a quick summary of what we just talked about? To sum it up simply, unmanaged switches are just standard pieces of equipment that offer little to no value to your facility, especially in a crisis situation. Using managed switches will eliminate loops, which could bring down an entire network. They also add a level of security, VLAN segmentation, and diagnostics to help troubleshoot network issues. We hope this has helped you make the right networking decisions for your manufacturing systems. If you have any questions or would like more information, please contact your local ES&E account manager or automation specialist.